guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a and a for you and these are all questions that I got sent a really really long time ago actually and I'm just finally getting around to filming this Q&A. So I have all the questions on my laptop here. This is actually from a giveaway that I did all the way in November. So I'm really far behind on all this but I thought I would do it. I thought it would be a good start to my videos after my Florida vlogs ended. So I'm going to be doing hopefully weekly videos up until my next trip which is in, I was going to say October but it's in September. And do let me know if you want to see any more Q&As after this one. I didn't know whether to make it like every other month or if you want live streams or anything like that so do let me know and if you do have any questions make sure to leave them down below as well. But I'm just going to pick out some random questions from here. I don't know which ones I'm going to answer, I'm just going to pick some at random. Okay so the first question is from Ali S and it says who is your favourite Disney sidekick? Mine's Mushu and Zazu. Um, that's hers, not mine. Um, my sidekicks? Probably Pascal. I love Pascal so much and if Jack and Gus count as well from Cinderella then those. Yeah, I'd probably say those ones. I like all the cute animals so yeah. Those. The next question is from Carly Hall and she asks if you had the opportunity to visit any of the Disney parks in the world for free which one would you choose and why? I mean I feel like I would say Disney World just because I love Disney World and it's like my happy place but I really really want to visit Disneyland California. I have been to California before but we didn't go to Disney which is crazy especially for someone like me. So maybe Disneyland California. Susie Rushton asks what's your favourite Disney Pixar movie? My favourite Disney Pixar movie, I'm trying to think. I do love Finding Dory, I prefer Finding Dory to Finding Nemo. I love The Incredibles and I really love The Good Dinosaur. It doesn't get the recognition it deserves but it's so good and I've cried at The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> I know, sad, but I absolutely love that film. If I had to pick one though, probably, I don't know, The Incredibles because I'm so excited for The Incredibles too. But then Finding Dory. <sighs> it's a toss up between those two. The next question is from Yasmin Greener and she asks, is there any Disney events you haven't been to but would like to? I... Mm, events? I don't know so much for events. I, I mean I would like to do the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party but I prefer the Halloween party. I say I prefer, I haven't done the Christmas party so I wouldn't know. Um, that would be cool. In terms of tours and stuff though I would really really love to do the Keys to the Kingdom tour or the Animal Kingdom Trek one. I think that looks so so cool so I would love to do those. I've never done any tours in Disney so those would be really cool to do someday. So Michael Harris asks what resort would you like to stay in next? So for any of you that don't know I will be going back to Disney World in September, I have mentioned that, but we will also be staying in Animal Kingdom for 11 nights of our two week trip which is very very exciting because that's been one of the resorts that I've always always wanted to stay at ever since I stepped foot in it. I mean even before we were staying at Disney Resort I always wanted to stay in the Animal Kingdom Lodge because I saw pictures of it online and I just thought how incredible it would be to wake up in the morning and see giraffes outside your window. What? But any other resorts I would love to stay at the Poly, mainly because it's got my favourite restaurant, Ohana. Um, but I also love the Grand Floridian, I think it's so so beautiful and I would love to stay there someday but unfortunately I don't have the money to afford either of those two resorts so I don't know, we'll see in the future. The next question is from Geek Acres and they ask favourite attraction from Walt Disney World and favourite snack? So my favourite attraction is the Tower of Terror. I absolutely love it. We went on it three times in a row last year because there was no queue and I could just do it a million times over again and I don't feel queasy, which is strange for someone who suffers from motion sickness, but I love it. Um, but Flight of Passage has also come in and it's well at the top and I don't know if it knocks Tower of Terror off the top or not because it's that good. So it's Tower of Terror or Flight of Passage. Both are incredible. Um, and then snack wise, Mmm. What's my favourite snack? I'm trying to think what did I eat that was like, mmm, this is incredible. What did I eat? I tell you what I really, really liked. It's not like a typical Disney snack. Um, but we ate in the Moroccan Pavilion in their quick service and for the dessert, well, snack, because it was a snack credit, we got baklava. It was walnut baklava and I absolutely loved it. I love pastries and nuts and those sorts of things. So it was a perfect kind of snack for me. Um, 
and I would 100% go back and eat that again. So probably the baklava in the Moroccan pavilion, but then I also love just like cronuts and school bread and I'm just thinking of Epcot now. The next question's from Kathleen Phillips and she asks, where is your favourite place to eat in Disney World in any of the parks? Um, my favourite place, oh, if we're just talking the parks, this is more difficult because if we're talking outside the parks, it's Ohana. Um, in the parks, well, I love Yak and Yeti, the table service in Animal Kingdom and I also love Jungle Skipper in the Magic Kingdom. In terms of quick service though, I really, really like, what do I like? Satu Lee Canteen in Animal Kingdom. It's so good. The next question is from Emily N and she asks, if you could add a new ride slash attraction to Walt Disney World, what would it be and why? And I actually have an answer for this already because I have spoken about this a lot before, especially with my sister. Um, I want to add a Tangle themed ride because Tangle is not represented enough. It's Tangled Toilets, it's not a ride. We need more than toilets. Um, what I want to add, I don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but it needs to be called a hair swing and it needs to have Rapunzel's hair in a swing sort of thing. Maybe not like a chair swing as in like go round because that's just too fairgrounded. If any of you know what Maelstrom is at Drayton Manor, maybe something like that. It would be a big thrill ride and I don't know if it would go with the, like the Tangled theme, but I think hair swing just goes with Tangled. So I feel like the need to add a hair swing into the Magic Kingdom and do something with Rapunzel's hair. The next question's from Aiden Mauser. Mal, Mal, I think it's Mauser. Um, who's your favorite Disney villain? My favorite Disney villain? Hmm. Hmm. for my favourite film and say Scar is my favourite villain because I like singing Be Prepared and really getting into character when I sing it. So I'm going to say Scar. Plus I can't, I can't think of villains and I don't know why I can't think of villains. Why can't I think of villains? We're going for Scar, we're going for Scar. I'm going to do two more questions because I don't want to make this too long. Popcorn TV asks, what's your favourite park in Disney? So currently my favourite park is Animal Kingdom. I absolutely love Animal Kingdom at the moment. And I think, well, I know that the addition of Pandora has helped that so much. Like, it's just ranked it higher. That makes sense? Yeah. Um, yeah, I love Animal Kingdom. The day I'm filming this, Animal Kingdom's 20th birthday, so happy birthday Animal Kingdom. Um, but I just think it's such a lovely park. There's animals, I love animals. The food is great. They have some great quick services. They have one of my favorite table services, Yak and Yeti. And the rides I absolutely love. I love the safari, I love the rapids. I love um, Everest and obviously Flight of Passage and they have some great shows as well like The Lion King show. So I'm gonna say Animal Kingdom but it changes every year so I could come back from my holiday this year and be like Hollywood Studios is now my favourite, is my worst last year. But with Toy Story Land we never know. The final question is from the pre-built Dave and they ask would you ever do a solo Walt Disney World trip? So for me personally I wouldn't um, just because I like having the company of other people, I, I don't know, I just don't enjoy being by myself for a long, long time, um, especially when I'm out and about doing things. I like going to Disney and sharing those experiences with other people, I like seeing other people's reactions, and I don't know, I just, I personally wouldn't feel as comfortable doing a trip on my own, um, but I know a lot of people would, and a lot of people really enjoy solo trips. I would fly out to Disney and meet people there, but I don't think I could stay for an entire trip on my own 
just because I'd get lonely. <laughs> so that was my Q&A. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification as well. Also, let me know what your countdowns are for your next trip because I love counting down with everyone for their trip. I know a lot of you are going quite soon, so I'm really, really excited for all of you. I can't wait to see pictures and hear all about your trips. It's so exciting. Please take me with you. But yeah, I hope you all have an absolutely incredible day and I'll see you very soon on my next video. Bye!